current version of Joram does not have a link to go right to advanced searching. Rather, the advanced searching functions have been integrated into the search page, which you can access by clicking on the Find link. And as we have seen both in browsing and using the basic search tool, this search page is clean and it has an easy interface to use. So I'm going to go ahead and look up biology. And after I do a search for biology, notice I got 140 results. I'm going to go ahead and use the keywords to gain greater precision. And it kind of functions like subject headings, but in this case, it's just related keywords. I'm going to go ahead and click on specifically anatomy. And notice it tells me it has 12 results. <clears throat> and uh, it actually brought up 14. So that's an interesting little inconsistency. But the 14 results are easy enough that I could indeed just go ahead and scroll through them. But I'm going to try and find some interactive resources. So I'm going to click on File Format. And again, Flash tends to be more interactive. So I'm going to click on that. And here we go. It's taken me to, and at the bottom, this is a really interesting one, Interactive Human Skeleton. And as you can see, I have the search criteria up here. I have the search all field, biology. And then I've used the keywords anatomy and then specifically interactive flash to try and bring back interactive resources. I'm going to click on the interactive human skeleton, take me to that resource. And if I wanted to show the full record, I could click on show and I could scroll through this. And that gives you author and created date and additional information. I'm not going to go through everything right now. But um, if I wanted to go ahead and preview this file, again, I could go ahead and click on the, sh the preview. And immediately, I could begin to play with this particular resource. So if you want to learn more about how to use advanced search functions in Joram, check out my book, Interactive Open Educational Resources.